Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about dynamic arrays. You use dynamic arrays when you're not sure how big of an array you need before you run your program. Let's make some changes to the code we created in our previous tutorial. First of all, let's leave those parentheses following the declaration of our array empty. Let's declare one more variable. It'll be variable B. And let's tighten up our code a little. Actually, let's delete this part of the code. It's going to be easier to interpret. Okay, here we go. B space equal sign space. Bring in the input box function. Let's delete this part of the code. Let's change the prompt. It'll say, please specify array size. In the next line, I'm going to type redim space a, and let's create some parentheses around b, minus 1, close parentheses. What the redim statement does is reallocate space for the array. By the way, if you declared the size of the array already, you shouldn't use the redim statement. Here, once again, I use the value minus 1 because the array uses a zero index base. Let's click OK and run our program. Specify array size. Let's enter 3. Click OK. Value 1, 10. OK. Value 2, 20. Click OK. Value 3, 30. Click OK. And here's our message box with the retrieved values 10, 20, and 30. This concludes our tutorial about using dynamic arrays.